Why, hello there. Troy here from troysrun.com on Twitter, at Troy's Run on Facebook. Search Troy's Run or facebook.com forward slash cross Canada Run. All right, guys, day number 35. Happy Cinco de Mayo, May the 5th, if you can believe it. We are in New Brunswick, uh, just outside of Moncton. We should be on the outskirts of Moncton tomorrow, but uh, we're actually in Moncton uh, as we speak because we had to come into town and uh, hit Costco, get some protein and whatnot. Um, we are dropping Dad off at the airport tonight, picking up Uncle Joe from the airport. The whole tag team action. See ya. So uh, thank you so much to Dad. You have been awesome. I hope you enjoyed your uh, vacation. Um, I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad. I'm sure he's glad to be going home uh, to some warm showers and whatnot. So uh, again, thanks so much, Dad. I welcome Uncle Joe later tonight, and it's going to be a blast. Can't forget, celebrating at home tonight, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll please. I can't believe I'm saying this because I make it's making me feel old, but the happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mikey. Uh, man, oh man. Papa Crane sent me a note saying, you know, make sure you make sure you, you pass on a happy birthday celebration. And boy oh boy, I bet you guys are enjoying the cake and ice cream. I am jealous. So Mikey, happy birthday. Buddy, that's incredible. Remember, uh Play hard, be safe. All right. Um, so we finished day forty today, or four more forty more kilometers today. Uh, everything went went re- you know rather well. I didn't have much pain. Uh, ran a rather quick time, under four hours. So, excuse me. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, the knee was a bit sore. The right knee was a bit sore as I finished the run. Um, so I didn't push any further. I don't want to further the injury. So, anyway, um, I wanted to uh, give you guys an update. I, I will be taking tomorrow off, I do believe. Um, we are now in New Brunswick, but I've got, I have got a message from a man, uh, a family in, in Prince Edward Island that we just left, and uh, he, found our, he read our story. One of his family members read the story um, that was posted in The Guardian. So thank you, Jim Day. Great story in The Guardian. Guardian, Check it out. Google it, of course. And it's also linked on my Facebook page. Anyway, uh, this man who emailed me, his younger brother, um, who he's not a young man. Oh, I mean, he's a young man, but he's not, you know, he, he's kind of, or he's around my age. Anyway. He suffered a significant brain injury, uh, a traumatic brain injury at that, and basically he was beaten to a vegetable. It's terrible, absolutely terrible. Doctor said he's probably not going to live. Well, guess what? He's living right now. So never give up on him, ever. Doctors, nurses, anyone, never give up. I don't care what you say, never give up on someone because you have no idea what it's like to be in that family's eyes, all right? So I know you got to tell him you yeah, have 0% chance. Well, Whatever, he's proven you wrong. And I love that. I love it. You are a survivor, my friend. So we're going to return back to Charlottetown uh, later tonight when I get Uncle Joe from the airport and uh, go meet this survivor because, uh, you know, he's not doing too well. Um, He's a little bit down on himself. And uh, hopefully we can change that because this is what this run's all about. Um, I want to get the... The good words in his ears because uh, sometimes, you know, you know, as a fellow brain injury survivor... Um, people say, oh, it's going to get better. Don't worry. Don't worry. They bump you on the shoulder, right? And you hear that all the time. You break an arm. Someone says, don't worry. You'll be back. Well, here's the thing. A brain injury is a lot more difficult, all right? You, until you've lived it, you have no idea. And that's okay. Like I've said all along, that is okay that you have no idea. That's what I'm trying to kind of intermingle. I'm try, like I've said, I've tried to, I'm trying to bridge that gap and make people kind of more understand So it's just about, like I said, it's just about understanding, all right? So uh, like I said, we're going to go over back to Charlottetown, which means I probably won't run tomorrow because I'm going to be in Charlottetown all day. Um, But if I can, I'll try and get out uh, in the afternoon and go for a run. I mean, even 20K will do. But uh, um, I know my uncle has uh, friends in Summerside, so maybe we can uh, pop over there as well. But anyway, I wanted to uh, give a humongous shout out to this this, uh, survivor's brother who has reached out. Um, Gosh, that takes courage, man. That is love. Um, Reaching out to someone else saying, for a family member that someone's in the dumps, you know, you think you have it bad. Don't, it could always be worse, right? 
man. So thank you so much for reaching out. It's the least I can do to turn around and go meet you guys. All right. Um, but, uh, for any other person suffering from any illness, not just brain injury, remember, never give up hope, hope, the big word in all of this run that I'm doing, something that I believe in is hope, hope for, to hope for tomorrow by taking action today. All right. And I'm not just saying that I'm trying to prove that I'm living it. All right. Together, I believe every single person can create hope for tomorrow by taking action today. Every single one of us. But to gain that power that needs to force that change to occur, to get to that power, you need togetherness. Because together, everyone achieves more, right? That's where the whole team angle comes in. Together, everyone achieves more. T-E-A-M, team. So become part of the team, all right, and change tomorrow. Create hope for tomorrow by taking action today. I won't keep you any longer. Troysrun.com, at Troysrun on Twitter, uh, Cross Canada Run on Facebook. But uh, stay strong, buddy, and uh, thank you so much for that email. I can't, I can't thank you enough. Jeez. Uh, if you have any questions, any one of you, absolutely any of you, send me an email, personal email, Troysrun Foundation at gmail.com. It comes directly to my phone. All right. Shoot me an email. Let me know. And like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be about brain injuries, guys. I'm trying to, and I'm not, when I say I, I mean, I as in our team, because it's a team and every single one of you watching this are a part of the team. All right. It's that simple. Let's keep growing this team because we are going to change things. All right. I'm not, I don't have the power to change things like that. We do together. Everyone achieves Together, everyone achieves more. Start believing in that. Magic word right here. Hope. Cheers, guys. Have a great night.